Stitchy, stitchy, stitchy. Stitchy, stitchy, stitchy. Hey guys, welcome back to Arts and Cast. Today, I'm very excited. With Halloween coming up, we're getting into the spoopy season. We love a good spoopy season. And to celebrate, I am making my first Halloween rug. We have our electrocuted, electrocuted stitch. I'll show you my drawing. This cutie. This is what we're doing today. This will also be my first big rug that I'm making with my rug gun. My first big successful rug, because it will be successful. I've been having to troubleshoot a lot since getting this almost a year ago, and I'm still trying to figure it out, but I'm so determined. <laughs> we've stepped up our game, we've got carpet strips running all, all around. It's making it a lot tighter. I'm gonna double load up the string. Instead of putting one string through, I like to put two. I find that also makes things run smoothly. So yeah, with that being said, I don't think there's anything left except to start working on this cutie little stitch. I have a lot of hope, and this is all gonna work out. So we're gonna get this guy loaded up. There ain't nothing left but to do it. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. <gasps> I need to like give myself a pep talk. You got this. It's okay. Everything's gonna work out. <sighs> this just took me 50 minutes to roll up, and I had to cut out a whole bit because I got mad. <laughs> so just so you know, it's not always easy rolling into a ball, but it is worth it because there was a whole bunch of knots in there, and if I would have tried to load my gun with it, that wouldn't have gone well. I'm gonna start with the white on the inside. So I've got my two balls of white. I've got this little bucket so they don't run around on me. I'm gonna take both strings. We're just gonna get going. There isn't much procrastinating that I can do anymore. I just gotta do it. <laughs> Now that our gun is loaded, everything is plugged in, we are ready to go. A lovely tip that is very helpful if you have a gun like this. I did not know this in the beginning. It was also another reason why I was struggling so much. This little dial down here changes the speed. It doesn't even have, I don't even know which side's fast or slow, so we're gonna see. So I've got the dial turned all the way towards me. That seems fast. <laughs> now let's move it all the way towards you guys. Do you see that difference? One more time. So that's another good tip. I think that's gonna help me. I'm feeling pretty confident that I have enough skills now. This little stitchy, it's gonna be best. I am so nervous. Ah. I'm gonna start with his head. We are all done. Stitch is complete. I honestly just have to take a moment to say, this is the first successful rug that I have made with my gun since I got it back in December. Nine months of troubleshooting and holes and issues and getting mad and burnout. <laughs> But we did it, we did it. I'm so glad that I didn't give up. I did take some breaks, we took some time off. <laughs> the first big rug with my gun that I tried to make, I left it up on my board for a good two and a half months. I was just like, don't look at me, you don't exist, I'm not paying attention to you. <laughs> but we took some breaks, fixed a lot of our issues. Honestly, the dial trick that I showed you guys and getting these carpet strips was the biggest turnaround for me figuring out how to make the rug. So I am just so happy that I figured it out, that we are here, that I completed this rug in under two hours, and I'm so excited to get to the next process. I know that this is going to take a really long time. This is the glue we'd be using today. I think I've used this stuff before. I like it. It's good. It doesn't have a super intense smell. So anyway, now that this is complete, <laughs> now that he's done, the next step, gluing him up, then I leave it for about six to eight hours and we will come back and finish him off. My goodness. <laughs> Just like that, we are back, we are done. Stitch is cut out, trimmed, backing is on, and we are ready to shave it up. Honestly, nervous and excited. 
This is a lot of work ahead of me. I don't think I've shaved and trimmed a piece this big yet. That's a lie. I don't know. This just looks like a lot of work. So we have this cut out. We're gonna start with my lovely shears and we're going to try and give this an even layer all the way around to start working on. I'm also going to take my handy dandy scissors and create a rough outline around all the edges. As you can see, I already started to do that with the ears. This is before and this is after. As you can see, this side looks a lot cleaner. So we're gonna go around all the edges, we're gonna shear it down to one layer, and then I'll come back when we're getting into the trimming part. officially done. I'm so happy with how this turned out. This is my first rug that I've successfully made with my rug gun and we did it. We freaking did it. We love her. I'll give a close up at the end of this video. It honestly took like two hours to use my tufting gun on this entire thing. It took a lot more time to shave it, but I am so impressed. Ah! Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Happy Halloween and I can't wait till next time. Stay tuned.